following video, I will be covering how to make beats in FL Studio 20. Now we are going to be making this sort of hip hop slash uh, trap style beat. I'm going to remind you again how to import your samples into your channel rack. I'm going to show you how to add variation to your beats so they don't sound robotic but they sound slightly uh, more human, I guess. So uh, starting off the lesson, let's just, you know, open up our channel rack and uh, we have our four default sounds here, which uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know who uses, but you know, they're here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the product tempo to 140. It's kind of this nice uh, trappy tempo. And uh, I'm gonna start importing my samples that I like, right? Now, I mean, I'm going to import uh, three main sounds that are not included in FL Studio 20, but these sounds will be included in the course files. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop sounds into the channel rack. Now let's just have a listen what we have here. So we have three different sounds, two kicks, one hi-hat and a snare. Now, why do I have two kicks? Because uh, I really like layering my kicks. I feel like when you layer your kicks, they sound more punchier. First thing what I'm gonna do is I'm going to expand my channel rack from four to eight bars. Now, how I usually make my beats is I usually just, you know, turn on the metronome and just kind of freestyle beatbox to it. And that's how I usually, you know, get my uh, beats going on. I'm gonna do that and hopefully come back with uh, a cool beat pattern. All right, so that's the idea I had in, in my mind. Now let me just add in more uh, variations of the hi-hat here. I'm gonna open up the piano roll and I'm going to add slightly more variation to it. So I thought I'm gonna, you know, add some quick snappy notes. So I'm gonna go to uh, snap to grid and just click 1.6. And that will allow me to really kind of add these tiny notes really close together like so. All right, cool. We switch back to main. So there's also another way how to uh, add variation to a beat, and that is uh, by changing the velocity of your notes, changing the panning of your notes, the pitch of your notes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm going to show you a cool tool uh, that's included in FL Studio. If you click Alt and then you click R, you're gonna end up with a piano roll randomizer. This is really sweet because you can really randomize your. Uh, <laughs> your notes in a really, really interesting way, but we're gonna just stick to uh, this section here where we will be messing around with uh, the velocity and the panning. So I'm gonna, you know, just tweak the panning, something like this, tweak the velocity to something like this and see how it sounds like. As you can see, the notes are going from the left ear to the right ear. The velocity changes, manually change it here if we want. All 
right i'm happy with that we can close all the windows here and also another way you can you know add more groove to your beat is by just adjusting the main swing here pretty much going to just shift all the notes slightly to the right and a uh, good example of this is is if i select it uh, kind of zoom out here go to none hold shift slightly shift the notes so if they're perfectly on grid like this they're going to be slightly off grid so i'm just going to have them manually slightly off grid like that and we can also switch uh, the swing over here now I think that's about it for our uh, hi-hat I'm gonna control C control V to have a double kick and I'm gonna click on this kick and I'm going to slightly remove the tail of the sample here by adjusting the quick fade out I'm also going to reduce the volume of the whole sample slightly I'm going to normalize the snare to slightly make it louder This is pretty much uh, the basic beat we have going on here. So what I was thinking is I'm going to add more uh, samples to it. So this time I am going to be using the built-in stack samples in FL Studio. So to access them, again, let's go to browser. Let's go to packs, drums, mode, audio, or drums, depends what you like. I'm gonna go to mode audio. Then I'm gonna just go to percussions and see what they have here and uh, hopefully we're gonna find some cool sounds that we can work with. All right, that's it for all my samples. Let's just have a little preview of what we have. I'm not sure if these samples will even fit to this beat, but you know, let's hope for the best. So pretty much I'm just going to start off with the first sound and just see where it might fit. Then once I found the correct spot for it, I'm gonna move down. Now I do the same thing with this sample, go down, etc. etc. So we'll just see what we can do here. I'm gonna adjust out of the sample slightly. So I ended up uh, using the sample on the snare.
here I'm going to just uh, control C, control V, as in copy and pasting the same hi-hat pattern that we have on this hi-hat. So I'm just going to double the two hi-hats and to move up or down, you can just click Alt and arrow up or down. So you can really see the difference when there's just a singular hi-hat and two hi-hats. Alright, so we have our beat kind of layered down here. What I want to do is I want to do the same process I did with uh, this hi-hat where I adjusted a lot of the velocity and the panning. So I'm going to do the same thing only with these other sounds. Now I'm not going to, you know, literally uh, adjust every sound, you know. On some sounds you just don't need to adjust anything, right? But on some sounds we definitely need some work and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here really. So maybe we could adjust the panning. So the first time when it hits, it goes on the left. And the second time it hits, it goes on the right. Here, maybe we could adjust the velocity of it slightly. adjust the positioning of it as well so again go to snap to grid click none select it and just move it by sh holding shift and arrows here Maybe slightly adjust the velocity. Here we can adjust the swing, as in this thing over here. Now, so far, the beat sounds pretty abstract. I would use the word. And uh, we can actually make it sound even better, but we're going to be uh, doing that later on in the course. Later on, we we're just going to be assigning all of these sounds uh, into the mixer and then, you know, adding individual effects to every sound. So we could add a bunch of delay and some, you know, samples, some reverb, some stereo imaging, some, you know, cool stuff like that. But that's going to be later on in the course. And uh, in the next video, we'll be learning how to make dope melodies in FL Studio. So hopefully you learned a thing or two about beat making in this video and uh, join me in the next video guys.